Some folks say there, there just ain't no forgiveness for bad dogs or bad men in this world. They say they're just too far gone to be redeemed. But the Sunday morning preacher, he said there ain't nothing impossible as long as you have a little faith. I'm Dog Whisperer Big Chuck McBride, and we're here in Commerce, Michigan with Alyssa and her dog, Buddy. Buddy is a little bit dog reactive, so we're going to make sure that he can be around another dog without having any issues. You, you guys ready to do that? Yeah. All right. Buddy is having a little bit of a problem with other dogs, as you can see. There's another dog in the vehicle. What we're going to do is we're going to put the e-collar on the dog. And I want you to put this on real tight right here, okay? We're not going to use shock, we're going to use beep and vibration, okay? Okay. And I want it tight, all right? Okay. Okay, you can let me have that. Come here, buddy. Okay. Come here. Come here. Put it on tight, I want to be to the either the left or the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Buddy for a walk first to get acquainted, and then we're going to come back. Okay, what I'm doing now, guys, is I'm making sure that the dog is taking general direction through the walk, and we're also using the beep function to let him know when we don't like when he's doing something. Okay, go ahead. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give him a beep with sound to let him know that the beep means no, or we're going to use it to redirect. Okay, get the dog close up when he reacts to the other dog. He's reacting to the other dog right now. Go ahead and keep, let your dog take your dog out. Make sure you have a firm hold on your dog. Now, every time the dog gets excited before we bring the other dog out, I correct. Go ahead and bring him out. Okay, notice that when he barks, I beep. Okay, bring your dog. He barks, I beep. Bring him over that way and stop right there. Yeah. Okay, move your dog a little bit further this way. Stop. Now we see the reaction. What we're going to do is use the beep. Okay, now the beep is not working so well, so we're going to use vibration. The vibration made him stop. Okay, did you see the reaction when I did the vibration? We're using beep and vibration only. He's still looking at that dog. Come back over here. 
vibrator on him. <laughs> I'm gonna vibrate again. He stopped. Now what I should have been doing, I should have been saying shh and vibrating, okay? Okay, he's whining, so I'm gonna vibrate. Shh. What we must do is achieve calm first, and then we can move the dogs closer and walk the dogs together, okay? And introduce the dogs. But our major concern is not necessarily to have a love fest with every other dog, okay? <laughs> our goal is to make sure that when we're with this dog, we can control him around other dogs, okay? You can bring yours a little bit closer. As he moves closer, this one starts to shh. Now we're going back to B. Whiny, shh, B. Notice that I'm getting giving verbal sound every time I use the E collar, okay? Again, we're not using shock. We're using beep and vibration only. Okay, I use vibration, I moved a little closer, every time he gets excited, that energy gets up, what do I do? I vibrate to let him know that I don't like that energy. Vibrate and sound. We're gonna move a little closer, but before we move closer, we're gonna give a vibration. Okay, we're gonna move a little closer. Vibration, because he was moving too quickly. All right, another beautiful day in Michigan. All right, okay. We're gonna move a little closer. When he gets excited, I give vibration. Okay? Okay. He's licking his lips. Did you get that? I'm on a close up of him licking his lips. I'm going to vibrate. You always correct when he's licking his lips. Shh. Shh. Okay, we got a little bit. not going to fight. This one is the one that's going to start. No, he'll defend himself. He'll defend himself. But I can, I'm more worried about this one not yeah, listening to me than that one. I had to put okay. my hand in that one's mouth to get them unconnected last time. Okay. Yeah, he can put it. He just yeah, Okay. Okay. Now what I want you to do is just correct yours. Don't pat them, but just go. Shh. Just like that. Shh. Shh. Okay. What I want to do is hold him there. I want to put a muzzle on just for safety. Okay. okay. I want you to. Okay. So we're out here now. We've got the muzzle on. We're going to make you feel more comfortable. I need everybody's energy calm. You see, when we corrected him for trying to take the muzzle off, we gave a beep and sound and he stopped. That's because his mind was in a frustrated state, okay? When we redirected his thought pattern, he went back to a calm state. That's our goal. Our goal is to anticipatively correct when the other dog is out there. What do I mean by anticipatively? I mean, soon as he catches wind of the other dog, soon as he looks at the other dog, soon as you see the other dog, anytime you get a weird feeling in your mind that something's getting ready to happen. Correct. Our first job is to make sure that he can be calm around another dog and reward him for being calm. Okay? Notice that he's trying to go in front of me. I correct him. 
to let him know that anything in front of him is my responsibility. He's messing with the collar or the muzzle again. He stopped when I corrected that time, okay? Notice that I said shh, and he stopped. That's because when I hit vibration, beep, or sometimes shock, I use sound also. All right? Okay, you can pull them out again. Notice that I'm beeping when we go past the truck. Shh, 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 shh. Come on out. Our goal is first for him to be calm when he sees another dog. So I'm not going to wait for him to see the other dog. I'm going to beep. I beep. He lowers back a little bit. Okay. Okay. So we're doing pretty good. He's a little bit more calm around the dog. So what we're going to do is we're going to move a little bit closer again. Notice that when I started, I gave two sound, and when I stopped, I gave two sound, right? And then I gave the dog a double pat. That t told him that I appreciated him moving with me and stopping with me. We're gonna move a little closer. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to move a little bit closer. He's getting a little bit more intense, so I'm going to... He's getting a little bit more intense, so I'm going to... With vibration. And I pull him right back here because I want to let him know that his job is to be next to me, next to this dog. His job is to fully understand that I am in charge. No. That he doesn't have to fight. Yeah. Notice when he moves from where I had him, I put him right back. Right. Because I'm letting him know this is where I need him at. Okay? Now that he's done that, I give him a double pat. Now we've got the dogs closer together. Okay, we're gonna move a little bit closer together, right? I'm gonna start with two. He's getting a little excited closer, so I'm letting him know that even this distance is unacceptable to me. He's still a little excited, so I'm gonna give him vibration, right? And then I pull him right back up here where I want him at. All right, so we've accomplished something, haven't we? <laughs> huh? This has never happened before, correct? Why? It's because we made the situation calm. It looked a little futile in the beginning, but we just regrouped, thought about what we had to do, went inside, put a muzzle on, it made everybody's... It made everybody's energy a lot better. See those eyes? See your dog's eyes? Get a close up of those eyes. Okay, that's good. Kind of like piggish eyes. That says that a lot of times that these dogs could be what we could consider red zone dogs. Not red zone dogs that would kill another dog necessarily, but nevertheless, a red zone dog means it'll go and go and go and go. Okay? I found that correlation. But I've also found out that we can reprogram the dog to do what we want them to do also. Okay? So the first step is making sure when they're around each other that they're calm. Good job. He's licking his lips though, so that's not such a good job, right? So I'm gonna beep, Shh. beep, okay? What does it mean when they lick their lips? It means it's a sign of frustration. Yeah. Right, it's a sign of frustration. Now what I want you to do is I want you to walk your dog. Excellent. I like the way he did that. He went around to avoid. Just walk him this way. 
Notice that I'm giving touch. He's getting excited, so I'm gonna let him know that I don't like that. See how nervous he's getting? Now I'm gonna vibrate. He stopped. Notice that the shaking stopped also. That was frustration. Notice that the shaking's building up a little bit. I'm gonna get him a beep. It stopped. He's shaking. I give a beep. It stopped a little bit. Now notice that it started again, but when I give quick vibration, it should stop. His brain is totally redirected at that point. Okay? So what we're going to do now is I'm going to walk behind you. Just slow down a little bit if you can. Every time he gets excited, I get beat. Every time he gets excited, I get beat and sound. Stop for a second. What I want you to do is hold your dog's head uh, in the collar like that so you can control his head. And then I want you to put one arm underneath his butt, lift it up, and present his butt to this dog. You've seen them do that before? Ah, uh, not really. Just like that, that's perfect. Okay? What I'm gonna do is show him how to relax around another dog. Okay? But he must understand when he's near another dog, when he's in my presence, he has to be calm. Okay, just let him snap. Hold his head forward. Okay. All right. Now, I want you to control your dog's head if you can, and bring him about to a right there. Get the head right there. Hold the collar. Okay, that's good. Move him away. Give him a double pack. Now we're going to walk them behind each other. And I'm going to let this guy know that if he's around another dog, he has to be calm. Okay? And Okay, so it looks like we're doing much better. We've got your dog next to your side, and this guy over here he seems to be a lot more calm. That's what we wanted. The reason that your dog is staying to your side right now is because I got him back to square one, which means follow the pack leader. I need you to do what I want you to do, what I need you to do, because if you don't, you might get yourself in trouble. You might get yourself killed. <laughs> we don't want to do that. 
Okay. As you can see, shh, 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 shh. Okay, are you getting this? All of those, not just these two. See how they're all engaged in what he's doing now? Actually, these two are trying to see how nice these two dogs are by you. <laughs> well, they're all getting right. a sense of pack leadership, okay? Yeah. So they, they've got... <laughs> She's curious about me, though. She's not coming. Make sure that you're always over that way. Your body is blocking your dog. It's okay. Good. Thank you so much, ma'am. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome.